General Hospital spoilers reveal that Sam's death has caused a massive shock, throwing Jason into the center of a chaotic event with unpredictable consequences. Now, not only does he have to cope with the pain of losing his loved one, but Jason also bears the responsibility of caring for his son, Danny. This forces him to seriously reflect on his future and make important decisions. Jason understands that the dangerous environment he once shared with Sonny is no longer suitable as he is now Danny's sole guardian. He realizes he needs to find a safer path, distancing himself from the criminal world to ensure that Danny grows up in a safe and stable environment. These new choices might involve quitting his work with Sonny, joining the family business at ELQ, or perhaps beginning a more peaceful life where threats no longer hang over him and his son. Jason has come to recognize the clear dangers that Sonny's criminal lifestyle has brought to his family, especially to his sons, Danny and Jake. Having witnessed the severe consequences of Sonny's world, such as Michael being shot, Morgan's death, and Christina's kidnapping, Jason has started to reevaluate his role in Sonny's life. Now that Danny and Jake are both under his care, Jason knows he can no longer afford to take the same risks as before. The constant threats from Sonny's enemies have put immense pressure on Jason, who understands that continuing to associate with Sonny could pull his two sons into the dangerous vortex of his old life. The thought of Danny and Jake becoming targets for Sonny's foes, people who wouldn't hesitate to use his children to exact revenge, drives Jason to make a critical decision, to distance himself from Sonny in order to protect his children. Jason realizes that continuing to work with Sonny would only place Danny and Jake in precarious situations, and with Sam's death, he knows he cannot take any more risks. This situation forces Jason to reevaluate his priorities, and distancing himself from Sonny becomes necessary for him to focus on being a father and protecting his children. Jason is not just walking away from a dangerous world, but is also striving to build a safer life for Danny and Jake a life where they are no longer at risk from unforeseen dangers. Jason's decision to maintain distance from Sonny marks a significant turning point in his life. Although their relationship is deeply rooted, Jason knows that the safety of his children must come first. This decision might put Sonny in a more challenging position, but for Jason, protecting Danny and Jake is non-negotiable. Jason's decision to purchase Brando's garage is an unexpected yet meaningful move, reflecting a clear shift in his life. This is not just a business decision, but a way for Jason to continue pursuing his passion for cars, something that has always been a part of him, even during his years in the criminal world. Taking over Brando's garage marks the beginning of a new chapter, where Jason seems to be seeking a quieter and more stable life. This move confirms the new direction Jason is choosing, as he tries to distance himself from the dangers of his past while protecting Danny from the criminal underworld's threats. The garage provides Jason with a new purpose and helps him stay away from the allure of crime, which has already cost him so many loved ones. Now, Jason has the opportunity to build a new life, free from danger, fully focused on being a father and pursuing his personal passions. Jake's return to Port Charles will bring a significant change in Jason's life. Now, not only does he have to care for Danny, but he must also take on the responsibility of looking after Jake, both sons needing his protection and care. Jason's role as a father becomes even more challenging, and he realizes that his life must be completely different from before, especially now that Jason has stepped away from supporting Sonny and the criminal world this isn't just a personal change, but it also has broader implications for the power structure Sonny has built. Sonny, who once relied on Jason as his trusted right-hand man, now faces a major void in managing the threats from the underworld. Jason had always been the one protecting Sonny, handling dangerous situations, and ensuring the safety of the entire organization. Without Jason, Sonny loses someone he could fully trust, and this creates gaps that enemies are eager to exploit. Other criminal forces might quickly notice this change and begin planning attacks against Sonny, making the situation more dangerous than ever. Jake's return not only divides Jason's attention between his two sons, but it also puts him in a more difficult position as the threats from the criminal world might start targeting his family. 
Jason now faces even tougher decisions, as protecting both Jake and Danny is no longer straightforward when he has distanced himself from the criminal world, but still gets pulled into its hidden dangers. Jake's return could make Jason's entire family a target, as Sonny's enemies see this as a vulnerability to exploit against both Jason and Sonny. This development makes the storyline incredibly tense as Jason deals with the dual pressure of keeping his children safe while maintaining distance from Sonny and the troubles of his criminal past. Jason's life is now in a precarious state, with future decisions potentially leading to unpredictable consequences. His relationship with Sonny is also strained, as Sonny must figure out how to manage everything without the support of his most loyal ally. This could trigger a new sequence of events, filled with risks and dangers not only for Sonny, but also for Jason and his family. Jason's absence from Sonny's criminal life might drive the plot toward more dramatic twists. Sonny's enemies could seize this opportunity to strike, unleashing a wave of danger that could extend to Jason and his family. These threats will force Jason to make life-or-death decisions to protect his two sons while trying to maintain his distance from the world he once belonged to.